All right, shalom, shalom. Uh, good afternoon, boys here. Well, it's first day, uh, and I'm telling you, it's hot out there. You know, for those of you who are on homesteads, uh, make sure you have some AC. I mean, it is brutal out there. I mean, I, you, know, you, know, you go outside for a good uh, half hour, you, 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 you're drenched, with, 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 you, you, you're, drenched. You, 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 you're drooling all over the place, sweating. And I'll tell you, I go to through two or three shirts, but uh, a, a day because, you know, all of the perspiration. So, but stay hydrated and make sure you have some good AC, especially for the children. Uh, especially if you got wives or, or children, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they're pregnant, make sure that they have AC. Well, what I wanted to talk about in this video was something important that uh, we have to understand uh, that is critical, uh, especially in this day and age. Thank you. Um, and that is uh, the notion that we attempt uh, time and time again to speak with people uh, that come our way that may ask us for uh, direction or counsel uh, with any number of decisions or, or situations that they may be in. Uh, some may not even be life-threatening. Some may just, hey, how can I go about handling this situation? What do you think about that situation? So forth and so on. Uh, and everybody uh, has a right to receive or reject the information that you put forward. But what I think, you know, especially in this day and age, uh, if we as people that, if people seek us out to give, to get advice, uh, we have to guard our own hearts because a lot of people out there, they will stress you. They will... Uh, put a whole bunch of burdens of their poison, poor choices and decisions on on your spirit, and you don't want that. You don't want to deal with that. And this is why we have uh, uh, the, the the scripture or, or, or the in the Renewed Covenant, Titus 3, uh, 9 through 11. And, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about that uh, uh, real quick because if you don't apply this, tidbit of wisdom in your life uh, you're gonna experience a whole lot of stress a whole lot of heartache and a whole lot of pain uh, because people just don't want to get it so let's let's read uh, Titus 3 uh, like I said 9 through 11 but avoid foolish questions and geneal genealogies and contentions and strifings about the law, for they are unprofitable in vain. People want to go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, w w what's the point? You ain't gonna change your thought process. I'm not gonna change my thought process. It is what it is. But this is what I wanted to focus in on. A man that is a heretic, after the first and second admonition, reject. Now. We've heard this before, but, you know, it's so important to break down what these words mean. What is a heretic? What is to uh, uh, admonish someone? So let's look at these, these terms, okay? First and foremost, a heretic, okay? Uh, a heretic is one, therefore, who re refuses to accept the true doctrine as it, it is revealed in the Bible. So you're trying to tell them something, right? And it's, it's backed up in the word. You're trying to tell them something and they don't want to believe it. They don't want to listen to it. Um, hey, you, you told them once, you told them one, twice, okay? So that's what it means to be a heretic, okay? Uh, now, let's look at what it means uh, to admonish someone, okay? Because words have meaning. And when we read this stuff, a lot of people, they can't, they can't read and comprehend so, you know, you, you ever met somebody who is not very much well-educated? Uh, they can't do simple reading, simple math, uh, because look at the generations that's coming uh, after us. Uh, look at the, uh, uh, the, the lack in basic reading, writing, and comprehension that exists in today's society today. It's sad. But to admonish someone is an act or action to counsel a warning authoritative counsel or warning so you're trying to give counsel you're trying to give warning to somebody hey listen here um you know you should be storing food you should be putting back you should be saving you should not be getting into debt you should be doing this that and third and you've told them 
once or twice, it tells you to reject, okay? Knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of themselves. Have we not seen, you know, this weekend, I've seen this. I've had to personally apply this. Because these people, they're their own, they're their own worst enemies. They're not going to make good choices and decisions because they have no track record of it. And all they want to do is be like spiritual vampires. They just want to suck the energy dry. They just want to dump all of this stuff into your ear. Um, just to release it. And, and then you load it up with all of these spirits and all of these heavy burdens on your spirit. Leave people alone. What I'm learning more and more through the spirit of discernment is knowing when who somebody's going to uh, do something that is within their own best interest or someone that's not going to do something within their own best interest. Hey, you, you warn them once, you warn them twice, leave them alone. You're wasting your time because now you're becoming a burden on them. Not only to yourself, you think, it, and I've uh, trust me, I've been there. I've been there. I've done that where, you know, I've attempted to tell people time and time again out of love. I mean, they're just trying to say things a different way or give them different kind of scriptures. And maybe if I give them this YouTube video, maybe if I say it this way, if I say it a loving way, if I say it a mad way, if I said none of that don't work. None of that going to work. You just got to leave people alone. They don't get it after the first and second admonition reject. I'm telling you, it's going to save you a whole lot of pain out there. Trust me. I know. You better enter in your, 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 your soft Hebrew era. Because I'm telling you, man. Because if you don't, I tell you. These people will have you pulling out your own hair. Uh, dealing with their own foolishness and their poor choices and decisions. Stay blessed. Shalom.